Ati to ba a o ni le pe ni kan lo ba ati do pe na pata piti Ipa o ta o ni ka wa ile o ni ri ko bo wa o ko ni bo wa mo le lo la olodumare ko ba o ko omo yoruba o omo luduwa ba ba ti lo lu ni o kan si pale nitori pe duro e duro wa mu wa e duro pe ologun e se pe okunrin
the success of that lies in your hand. If you want to make it a success, it lies in your hand. And the otherwise, it lies in your hand. Uh, let me recognize members of the prize, they are present from different media houses. I want to introduce to you my brother, my father, Mr. Timmy Olufemi Oni from New Telegram. This is a round of applause for him. And from the point, let me introduce to you Mr. Tunde Oye Bola. This is a round of applause for him. And my brother are from Tibun, Nigeria Tibun, Mr. Abiola Assis. A round of applause for him. At the same time, from the nation, Mr. Kule Jima, another of applause for him. I also have here from Malawi, Mr. Ibrahim Alago, another of applause for him. And my brother and in law from New Express, and that is the person of Mr. Wale Adede, another of applause for him. We also have here from Haki Redney. And Mr. Kayode and will assist. Round of applause for him. <laughs> At the same time, my brother from Sandy Times, Mr. Antipo Ten. This is round of applause for him. <laughs> so we are here because of our issue. At the same time, your being here is very important. Like I said earlier, let me take you from here. Without you, we are wasting our time. And after this program, we want the whole world to know what we did here. We want the whole world to know that the Yoruba Empire are taking the step. Step regarding security, regarding restructuring, and step regarding self-determination for the Spanish. This I guess that is a round of applause for In that regard, we are moving to the press conference proper. Sorry for that please, lot of correction. I did not include it the other time. Please, reporters from Royal FM, please add it nice round of applause for them. Reporter from Alcohol County Fair, I think Mr. Yemi is there. I think yeah, Mr. Yemi from Aruya is there. Please allow the purpose for him. <laughs> and from Alcohol County Fair, please allow the purpose for him. Mr. Sunday, please allow the purpose for him. And we also have many online, uh, online, uh, online news media here. Please round of applause for everybody. <laughs> now, it is time for the ready presentation of the text for the press conference. And let me invite to Jai Omoto Shop for reading the the text of the press conference. Please, everybody, this time for us to listen and thank you. Sir. Thank you. 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 Thank I go for now, then I'm going to say no. And that's the one I'm going to do. And you want to go with them? I want to do so too. You want to go with all of you? Yeah, you want to go with all of you? You want to go with all of you? Sebab kalau ni jaya, kalau ni lasam, kalau ni apa ni mau aji, 
that eventually took its political roots in the present Quara state in 1824. Indeed, Ilori was founded in about 1695 by Ladiri, and it was by then a settlement of a settlement of the Great Oyo Empire. The assassination of Akwajan in 1824 led to the establishment of an emirate system that led a Yoruba settlement to be ruled by a Tulani Emir. According to Reverend Samuel Johnson in his book, The History of the Yoruba, 1921, quote, Before Abu the first Emir of Ilori, there has been Ladiri, the acknowledged founder of Ilori, Asi, Alupe, and Abaja, as the traditional rulers of the community, end of quote. Therefore, Ilori had been in existence for more than a century before the advent of the Fulani domination, an alien emirate system which proclaimed pre jihad of Bashik Stutz of the largely Yoruba people. Therefore, part of the problems of laws of freedom for the full and new laws was the way and manner the traditional institution of ownership was profaned by the jihadists. They did not treat the pre-jihad existing students with any modicum of respect. They were either turned to appointed district heads under the nomenclature of the Emirate system, or they were outrightly deposed. It was not until 1967 when the Bounia military governor of Para State, late Brigadier General David Lassisi Pamigoye, created new administrative divisions from the old Ilori and Kaba provinces that the lost glory of some Yoruba magic schools started to be restored. Largely, the beneficiaries of the new changes were others of the present Para South and Delia districts. And even up to today, in what is still abnormally referred to as Emirates, in some five local councils of Ilori West, Ilori East, Ilori South, Asa, and Moro, there is no recognized proclaimed traditional ruler apart from the area of Ilori. This solid state of affairs continues to subsist in spite of two judgments of courts of competent jurisdiction. And the Quara State government, as seen in conspiracy with the full and the laws, failed or refuses to implement the aforesaid court judgments. The institution of ownership is cardinal to the culture of the Yoruba people. And there should really be no need to be lumped together with those that have no respect for the culture of the Yoruba. Incessant agitations for freedom from the stronghold of feudal thoughts began right from the pre independence period up to the present time. For example, in 2017, when the All Progressive Congress, ABC, constituted a committee on the administrative restructuring of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Yoruba people, under the aegis of Yoruba Sekwara State, submitted a memorandum dated 25 September 2017, wherein they wrote into earlier.
system of government is in place anywhere in the world, and there is an abuse of system leading to subversion, imposition of policy, there is usually the fear of the disadvantage, and this fear leads to agitation. It will be recalled that from the three main regions of the north, the west, and the east at independence in 1860, agitation for creation of more regions and boundary adjustments from one region to another started soon after we became a republic. More potent in high demand then, apart from the creation of Middle Belt region, Midwest region, and the COR region, was the strong agitation for the merger of the Nori and Kaba provinces with the Western region. Unfortunately, because of the interest of the then NPC then federal government, only the Middle Belt region was created. While other demands, even though legitimate, were not acceded to. Similarly, in 1957, the Yoruba people of the present Kwara state, together with the Oko people of the present Kogi state, made a strong representation before the Henry Willings Commission of Inquiry set up to look into the problems of the minorities in Nigeria. The recommendation of that commission was that plebiscite be conducted to determine the political destination of the Yoruba of the present Kwara state. For that agitation, for proper restructuring that will group the Yoruba of the present Kwara state and those of Kogi state with the Yoruba ethnic nationality continued to the post republic. Well, the actual group, in alliance with the Loretta Laka Parapo, demanded the merger of their areas with their kids and kin in the western region, but was viciously pulled down by the then NPC led federal government. This agitation for the structuring was reignited by Kwara Yoruba in the 2014 National Conference, demanding the merger with their kids and kin in the southwest geopolitical zone. The demand for federalism, the demand for true federalism, peaceful federalism, boundary adjustments, all of which were encapsulated in the report of the National Political Conference of 2014, all point to an unhealthy relationship in the polity and the urgent need to redefine the relationships. Unfortunately, since the advent of the power of the led federal government, the words and body language of the administration never assured anyone that the recommendations of the National Conference will be implemented. This is in the face of clearly deficiencies in 1999 constitution, which was skewed in favor of a particular section of the country. This is also in the face of clearing lopsidedness in every aspect of our polity. A few examples will suffice. One, our national educational policy has arrested the speedy growth of southerners for northerners to catch up. The admission policy into federal unity colleges is a ready example. Two, the appointment of the heads of all security agencies from just one section of the country is another. Three, despite using the resources from Niger Delta to develop the new federal capital of Abuja, no southerner has ever been appointed as FCT minister. Four, the criterion of using landmass, empty desert, as a factor for revenue sharing and creation of federating units is only done all this and even more, including the quota system of opposing mediocrity over meritocracy, all constitute pullbacks for the south of the country, which generates the resources of this country. The plethora of challenges of insecurity in the country via the activities of Boko Haram, bandits, terrorists, full men, 
who kill, maim, rape, kidnap for ransom, committing arson, etc., have all combined to threaten the federal government out of its wits. The rapidity and frequency of these odious crimes have turned the country into an unsafe haven. The high sense of insecurity across the Federation, combined with the unwillingness of the power that be to restructure the country, provide a fertile ground for the agitation for self-determination in the form of the Yoruba Nation, the Afro Republic, Middle Belt Republic, South South Republic, BTC, BTC. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that Nigeria is on the brink. In order to save it from total collapse, it is hereby strongly recommended that the federal that the federal government should urgently implement the recommendations of the 2014 National Conference by returning Nigeria to true federalism as negotiated and agreed to by our founding fathers. These will include, but not limited to, a return to 1963 constitution as may be modified. B. Boundary adjustment, which will return para states to the southwest geopolitical zone. C. Establishment of state police to enhance security. D. Fiscal federalism or resource control. ETC. In respect of policy government, we emphasize the imperative of A, restoring the dignity, honor, and paraphernalia of your bad traditional institutions in the so-called Delorean merit, i.e., Asa, Moru, Delore West, Delore East, and Delore South, by creating and upgrading them like their counterparts in the other local governments of the state. B. Implementing without further delay the two subsisting court judgments, the two subsisting court judgments already won by the good people of Moro, which exclude them from ignoring Emirate. C. Putting machinery in motion for the immediate creation of local council development areas with particular reference to a federal group, ASA, and more local governments, which constitute some of the largest local councils in the Federation. It is. Conclusion. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen of the press, the immediate implementation of the recommendations of the 2014 National Conference is sacrosanct. As the 1999 Constitution, as amended, does not adequately guarantee and take care of the interests of all the ethnic nationalities. Failure to address those issues with sincerity of focus, Kwara Yoruba, a whole of the day in support of Yoruba self-determination, Yoruba nation, or Yoruba Republic, of Kwara God bless Yoruba Nation. God bless Yoruba Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, I think everybody that listened yes. to the man yes. who spoke to power that be, you have listened to the man who spoke to destroy the health system in Kwara State. Yeah. You have listened to the man who spoke against the oligarchy that is toying with the Yoruba Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is time for us, for us to reflect. And now, it is left to the journalists here present. If there is any area which is not clear to you, ladies and gentlemen, our members of the press, this is the time for you to ask questions from the presenter of the paper. Let the Rabbi team
Wonderful reading. Oh, you pay one one you know it. Wonderful reading. If the Tobaso Pompo see you in bed, as you put it, we laugh at the baby. What is the one to go? It's not for long now. Please, I get to my place. Okay, my, my brother, my name long. My brother from Nigeria, from Nigerian Express, Mr. Wale Adeteji. Please, a round of applause for him. Uh, thank you. Once again, my name is Wale Adeteji. I from the Nigerian Express. Yes, this agitation has been on for quite a while. But it is also a record that why this agitation comes up strongly as it is, is that some people within this same section will always come out and say they are not in support. I don't know how much you are taking care of this. I want to go to page 5, where you were asking among our foreigners that there should be an adjustment in Nigeria which will turn the state in the southwest into political zone. Bear in mind that also we have the Europeans here and the Parubas who for the political government? How do you think this will work? Thank you. In the day and in the day in the world, you cannot score one hundred percent followers. What matters is for you to have substantial followers. In Yoruba uh, 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 program, I want to answer here for what you pay. You pay me here, don't you? If you look at the percentage of those of us in this hall today, what percentage do we fall of the Yoruba population in Kuala State? When we are taking it upon ourselves to speak for the Yoruba people of Kuala State. And that's why we are going. Mr. From the point, my brother, you're not about both for you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. You are there to call those who are the ladies of the and to be the people of the world. When I just want to ask you, maybe you are in the question for the Sincerity of purpose, then we have. 
have no option than to align with the agitation for Yoruba nation. When Jesus Christ was alive, he spoke in parables. And uh, I know you have understood the parable. Thank you. 